And there's Franny. Franny's a little hesitant. Oh, what the heck? She ran back inside. Franny, get out here. Come on, it's springtime. It's beautiful. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. O-M-G. Her favorite sculpting material is me. Punch one. Hey, guys and gals. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Here at the Punchwood Farm with yours truly, Pablo Punchwood. Level 18 farm boy, and it is the first of spring. Monday, 6 o'clock in the morning. Winter is finally over. We can come out of hibernation. And we made it a whole year. One whole year behind us. So excited to get started again and doing some actual farming. And you know what that means, don't you? We've got to put our straw hat on. It's light and cool, and it's a farmer's delight. Put the fedora away, and yeah, let's do this. Oh, man, so excited. Uh, where do we begin? Well, let's check the weather. Weather report. It's going to rain all day. It's what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it is spring. Spring showers bring May flowers, right? Something like that. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. I guess they don't like spring. Well, too bad. I'm so excited to get back to the farming again. Living off the land. A new episode with Farmer Green Beans. Well, a new year has arrived. Keep your eyes peeled for any new kinds of seeds being stocked in your local general store. Hopefully, you upgraded your tools during the winter, and you're ready for a productive year. Oh, yes, sir, we did. We did certainly upgrade a whole bunch of... Well, actually, no, we didn't. We didn't upgrade the hoe, did we? <laughs> Dang it, why did we upgrade the hoe? That was dumb. Yeah, we should have upgraded the hoe, but we did upgrade our watering can and the pickaxe, which isn't going to help us farming, but oh, well. Ah, well, we'll figure it out. No big deal. We do have a little bit of organizing to do. So let's get outside and let's get started. Hey, Gonzo. Hey, Froggy. Welcome to spring. Super excited. Uh, oh, Leah. She's here on the porch. Hi, Punchwood. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together and I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come to town between 3 and 5 p.m. if you want to be there. Oh, definitely. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Not for anything. Huh? Who? Huh? Who the heck is this? Kent? Um, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. Uh, yeah, that's me. Name's Punchwood. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Uh, okay, Kent. Nice to meet you. Kent. Kent, did he come here with Leah? Isn't he her ex-husband? Holy smokes, he's back in town on the first day of spring. Suddenly, it's dark and dreary and nasty again. Just like winter. I can't believe it. They're not really married. He said they're married, but I don't think she believes they're still married. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to let go. I thought they were separated or divorced or something. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm all discombobulated now. So, oh, we gotta go bring this palm fossil to Gunther at the uh, museum. And we have a geode here for Clint. So yeah, all right, well, let's sell the mayonnaise. Chuck that in here and uh, you know what? I think I might hang on to the cheese. We can give cheese away. People like cheese, right? Sure. From Punchwood's Farm, and we even have some lovely beers, and yeah, this is going to take some time to get ready here. Hey, Wilson! Happy spring! And look at all the green. I didn't even notice how green it is. <laughs> Everything's grown back. All the grass. We even have weeds back. Oh, gosh. You know what that means, don't you? Where's my scythe? There it is. We're going to have to break out the old scythe. Not upgraded. <laughs> oh, man. I should have upgraded these things. Uh, okay, let's go water Wilson. Can I squeeze through there? Sure can. Hi, Wilson. Yeah, buddy, I gotta get through. Look, these weeds are back. Yeah, let me clean that up for you. All right, let's get you some water. There you go. Looks like it's gonna be a hot, sunny day today. Gonna rain tomorrow. Look at this mess. We have we've got wood all over the ground. Weeds growing up. I kind of like it. I actually like it. Let's grab that pine tar. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, we got a little bit of cleanup to do around here, don't we? But first, first, oh, grab that. First, we gotta go let the animals out in their new paddocks. And by the way, this is off, isn't it? <laughs> I have to move it over one. I wanted to do this even, Steven, and give the cows and the chickens 
uh, even space to play around in, but I, uh, I, I guess I was off a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to hoe it, but I did. All right, here we go. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Guess what? It's the first day of spring. I'm going to open up the door and let you guys out. You can go play outside again. All right, let's give them some food. You guys have been cooped up in the coop all this time. You get it? Cooped up. I guess that's where that expression comes from. All cooped up. All right, let's let them out. We'll close that. I don't want them to escape. Come on. File out here, ladies. Come on. It's spring. Let's go. Dilly. Dally. Hmm. Interesting. They're not coming out. All right. Well, let's go check the cows. Hi, Brownie. Hi, Franny. Let's do the thing with the thing. And then I'm going to let you guys out. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I know. I missed. There we go. All right. I'm going to open up the gate. Let's open it up. Wake up the chickens. Hi, chickens. Come on out here. Brownie. Franny. Yay. There's one. Who are you? Brownie. <laughs> and there's Franny. Franny's a little hesitant. Oh, what the heck? She ran back inside. Franny, get out here. Come on. It's springtime. It's beautiful. What is she doing? Maybe she's afraid of chickens. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> Don't worry. They're, those chickens are tame. <laughs> she went back inside. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Uh, yes, I know your paddock is a little smaller than the cow's paddock. I will fix that later. All right. You guys want to run out free? All right. They can't get out too far anyway, right? Yeah, the chickens like to graze in this grassy stuff over here. In fact, let's just let the cows out too. Let's let them all play. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe I'll just remove this thing entirely. Ow. Hey, we'll take out a little path at the same time, huh? That's right. Oh, oh gosh. It's noon already? We got to get to town. Yeah. All right. I got to get to town. We got to get to town by, what was it, 3 o'clock, right? Yeah, we got to get to town. We got to buy some seeds, and we got to get some stuff planted. Uh, where do the rocks come from? How do rocks grow up out of the ground? <laughs> Ooh, better close that door there. And, oh, cherries! Our cherry tree blossomed! What? Yay, it's our first fruit from our cherry tree. Ever. It's popular and ripens sooner than most other fruits. And delicious, too. Yeah, let me get organized here, and then we're going to go. Okay, we're going to head to town and go see all of the uh, town folk. I'm sure everybody's out today. And we'll buy some seeds and stuff like that. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Don't go away. All right. We're done with the chores. Let's take Bud into town. It's 220 I do not want to miss Liz, uh, her show. We cannot miss that. Especially with Ken back in town. We got competition. Holy cow. All right, let's throw that in there. I want to sell that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And yeah, let's go. Let's go. Open that gate. Open the gate, bud. Quick, quick, quick. 3 p.m. Don't want to be late. Oh, daffodil. Grab it. Yes, I love the springtime harvest. Ooh, here we go. Whoa, it's a huge gathering. Wow, Leah, you really did it this time. Everybody's here. Punchwood, you're here. Okay, I guess I'd better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. I'm right here for support if you need me. Um, okay, everyone. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm going to introduce my sculptures now. You're doing great, Leah. Keep it up. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to, com to completion. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece, Leah. Gorgeous piece. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed, amused, pained? I'll leave that for you to decide. Maybe all three at once, right, Leah? I should probably shut up. This one's called post-dimensional null space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. It sure does, Leah. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Oh, interesting. But I love it. It's purpley and swirly. I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with. The viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a <sighs> physical entity. That's exactly what I was thinking, Leah. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. O-M-G. Her favorite sculpting material is me, Punchwood. <laughs> 
Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Punchwood. <gasps> wow. He gave me the idea for the show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. Great use of wood. Thanks for doing this, says Benny. Oh, look at that big smile on her face. Thanks, everyone. Leah, you did it. You did it. It was great. Now, let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 gold for the pink one? Holy smokes. Uh, Demetrius seems to like that one a lot. So maybe he's going to grab that one. I thought maybe I was going to be pressured to buy them all. <laughs> okay. And it only took 10 minutes. <laughs> Ooh. Got a help wanted sign here. It's Willie. Trying to keep the auto fishing alive. I'll pay 120 gold any fisherman who catches four sunfish. Good luck, Willie. Sunfish. Okay. Well, good. We're going to do some spring fishing. It's the best time. Monday, the first of spring, and there's nothing going on this whole week until Ken's birthday on Thursday, which we can ignore, and Lewis's birthday on Sunday. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get inside here to Pierre's and do some shopping. Oh, Leah! Leah, you're here inside. Leah, that show was amazing. It was outstanding. I knew you could do it. Wow, I'm exhausted. My show was a real success, wasn't it? Oh, it sure was. Everybody was just flabbergasted at, at the in amazement or something. Hey, um, I've got something for you. I've got this lovely flower. First spring flower for you. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. Of course, not that we can go any higher than ten hearts, but, you know. All right, anytime. I gotta go do some shopping. I'll catch up to you in a little bit, okay? Hey, Pierre, coming around. Welcome. If you're looking for seeds, you've come to the right place. That's exactly why I'm here, feller. All right, let's see them. And I'm going to sell... Holy smokes, that cheese is worth some money, huh? All right, let's sell one cheese. Oh, that was for the both of them. All right, well, tell you what. I'll sell you two cheeses. And now, let's buy some seeds. Okay, we have, I believe, eight quality sprinklers, right? So let's do... Let's do a variety of uh, plants here. Let's get eight parsnips. We'll get eight bean starters. Eight cauliflower, eight potatoes, eight kale. It's one, two, three, four, five. We got three more. Garlic? Hmm. Four days to mature. All right, let's do eight garlic, I guess. And how about some flowers, too? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do eight tulips. And jazz. Those are flowers, right? Yeah, puffball flowers. Uh... Okay, sure. We'll do eight of these, too. Why not? Why not? All right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different plants. And, oh, look at that big bag of seeds. Thanks, Pierre. Can't wait to get these in the ground. All right. Hey, uh, Leah, I'm going to run now, okay? Thanks for the show. It was awesome. Well, we're not going to make it to Clint's, but we can at least get over to the museum and give the uh, that fossil to Gunther here. Hey, Gunny, got something for you. Palm fossil. I've never seen one of these, have you? Let's donate it. Palm fossil should go down here with all the weird stuff. Save those two for scrolls. We'll put it right down here next to that voodoo doll. A new reward. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see it, buddy. Hand it over. It's a rare crow. Collect them all. We've got seven of eight rare crows. Is that a mouse? It's on my head. <laughs> is it a mouse? Looks like a mouse. Oh, it's adorable. Thanks, Gunther. Appreciate it. All right, we'll see you later. All right, that's cool. Oh, man, everything is so bright and sunny, and I'm pretty sure Clint's closed, isn't he? Yeah, darn it. All right, well, let's go back through town, and we're just going to say hi to a couple of people here and there. Oh, man, look at everybody's out. We got Maru and Penny sitting in the park bench. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. That's a fine idea, Maru. It's surprising how much a change of scenery can help. Yeah, it's good to see you guys outside, too, after being all cooped up in the winter, just like my chickens. 
I may get to move out. It's such a burden to be worrying about mom all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, you should do that. I want her to be happy, but I can't stay here forever. You know? I do know. I know. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to give Penny a gift, but there's really no reason to get her up to ten hearts. And then break her heart by marrying Leah. So, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dang it. I haven't seen Haley in forever either. She's been all cooped up in the winter. Uh, it's, I, again, probably not worth saying hi. Oh, hi, Leah. Hey, let me walk you home. Want to ride? Hop on. She likes to walk. I respect that. Okay, Leah, I got to go do some farming because it's the first day of spring and a lot of work to do. I'll come by and say hi later, okay? Take care. Good art show today. I see worms hidden. I see worms hidden. Do you see those little guys in that grass? You can't hide from me. Prehistoric scapula. Ooh, prehistoric scapula. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. No, I haven't. It's commonly known as a shoulder blade. It's unclear what species it belongs to. Ah, it's an old shoulder blade. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, should we give a... Uh... I don't have a hot pepper for Shane. I really want a blue chicken. Um, well, let's do it. Let's do it tomorrow. I'll bring him hot pepper because he loves hot peppers. All right. Oh, look at the mess over here. But I'm so glad the mess is back because I love the spring. Let's go check on everybody. Close the gate. And oh. all right, we'll leave Bud right there. Where is everybody? Did they go back inside? Oh gosh. Yeah, I think they went back inside. So we have to close the doors. They don't like it when you leave the doors open. All right. I hope they're inside. Oh, no. We better check. Oh, you're here. Okay, good. I hope you guys had a good first day of spring. Mine's been amazing so far. And we'll grab the cheese. We'll sell that. Better check on the chickens. Make sure they're here. All right. Good to see you ladies back inside. See you tomorrow. Close that up. We'll sell all this stuff. All right, bud. You're done for the day. Hey, Wilson. Now, let's sell some things. And then we're going to get... Uh, all right, I'm just trying to get organized here. Let's um, sell all that, okay? And, oh boy, we got to get this stuff in the ground, but I have a lot of hoeing to do. Cleaning up first. It's 8.20. We have plenty of energy. I guess we just got to get started. There's no reason to wait, right? Let's clear all this stuff out. Get these seeds in the ground. And when do the bees come out? Do they come out in the summer? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't hear any buzzing around in there, so I don't think they come out in the spring. Maybe it's summertime. Anywho, all right, let's get our new rare crow out here. We got a little mousy, and we'll put him down. Oh, I don't know. Put the mouse over here. Just want to make sure they cover all of our crops. And now we're going to do some hoeing. I wonder what the upgraded hoe does. Does it do more spots than one at a time? Maybe it does. And I guess that would be worth it. Whew, it's taking a lot out of me here. Got a little clay there. I should probably eat something that gives a farming benefit, right? But it's too late now. I forgot. Get out of the way. <laughs> I just wailed on that guy. Oh, man. We're not going to have enough energy or time, I think, to get this done. I'm just tilling the whole dang field. I know the water's not going to reach over there. All right. Farm has been tilled, and it looks like we need a little light over here, huh? All right, we'll put, a, uh, put that torch right over here. Okay, so now we need water, right? And also some kind of fertilizer, and I don't think we have any fertilizer, but we can make some with sap. So we can make basic fertilizer right now. I don't have the recipe for quality fertilizer, unfortunately. So let's just make a bunch of this. 8 times 8 is 64, according to my calculations, right? Math is not my strong point, but I think I got that right. And we should grab our watering can, which is steel. Oh, oh no, it's 12 o'clock already? Holy cow. All right, oh boy, we're not going to get to plant anything, are we? Oh, no, we got to run, we got to run. Hustle, hustle, hustle. It's got to be close, it's got to be close. Come on, Farmer Punchwood, you can do this. You can do this. I need to eat. I need to eat a snack. I know. One hour left. We're not going to make it. I don't think we're going to make it. All right. Let's get the slowest growers going first. 
And we'll plop these right around the quality sprinkler. Hopefully I don't mess them up. Uh, the beans I want to put down somewhere over here because these stalks actually stick around. And you're going to have to walk around. Oh no! Dang pond is in the way. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we'll figure it out. 130! Uh oh. And jazz. Let's, let's grow the jazz down here I guess. It's just going to be flowers, right? Now, are these going to get watered tonight? I don't know. Do I have to water them now? I, oh, dang it. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Oh, drat. Two o'clock. That's it. First day of spring. I'm sleeping on the floor. Crashing right here. Pooped. Here endeth day one of springeth year two-eth. Yay, year two-eth. <laughs> Almost 3,000 gold made today. And that's the end of the day. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. Ooh, what was that? Excuse me.